Hey guys, what's up? It's Nixium, and welcome back to another exciting Q&A. Before I get started, I want to say, uh, I, I want to give you guys a little bit of an update in regards to my health, because it's a very common question that I've been asked ever since my last Q&A, where I talked about my time in the hospital and my issues with my gallbladder. People have been asking, uh, Nixium, how are you doing? Are you okay? Um, I've seen it as a very common comment in my comment section, and it's a very common question over on Twitch. Um, I am okay. I'm paying off my hospital bills one by one. Um, everything is everything is okay. I'm not in any I'm not in any financial pickle at the moment. I'm not in any sort of painful pickle at the moment. I've not been in any pain or discomfort, and uh, I feel good, man. I've been. Uh, doing a 100 day gym challenge. I think I'm on uh, day 15 or 16 right now. I'm not sure but a 100 day gym challenge and that's been Really freaking awesome. I have to say and uh, I feel great. I feel strong I feel confident and I feel very excited for the future So I am okay guys for those of you that you know have been concerned ever since my uh, last q and I am perfectly fine and if something were to happen I would let you guys know, and if something really bad happened to me, uh, I'm sure Moo Cluck would let you guys know. So let's just jump right into the Q and A, uh, and oh yeah, let, let's just oh yeah, let's do it. The first question comes from Firestorm, and a few other people asked this question as well. But Firestorm said, uh, "Why did you quit? Wake? Why did you quit making WoW machinimas?" Uh, personally, I think you just stopped making them because you get more profit from Twitch. So why bother? Kind of disappointed. Um, I didn't quit making WoW Machinimas, but this is a question that uh, a few people have asked me. They're like, Nixium, why have you slowed down? You know, uh, why are we only getting like one Machinima video like a month or whatever, where we used to get maybe like two or three? Um, it's a very good question. Uh, so let me just kind of elaborate and just uh, explain. Um, the first uh reason is because over the past couple of months i was dealing with those health issues that i talked about in the last q a well the past several months i should say and because i was dealing with those health issues they that weighed on me subconsciously i wasn't expressing myself creatively creatively uh as i normally would i wasn't doing wood carving i wasn't playing as much music um as i normally do i wasn't reading and that was that was a big one for me. Only now do I realize, man, like I really stopped reading for a while and that kind of, you know, my, my books got dusty and that is, that is heresy. Dude, your books can never get dusty. You have to read a book every single day. I mean, you, you must, like the gods demand it. But um, it, it just weighed on me subconsciously. Um, also during that time, I, you know, like I've made a lot of WoW Machinimas and WoW Machinimas, if you guys have watched the behind the scenes videos, they take a long time to make. I mean, they're not something that you bust out in one evening, unless it's like a really, really, really short one. But uh, WoW Machinimas take a long time to make. They're a lot of work and um, they're like little tiny mini movies. Everything from the storyboarding to uh, keying out green screens, putting in the special effects, the voice acting, writing the script. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. And so uh, during this time, I just sort of pursued other interests on my channel, things that just weren't so, things that didn't that didn't keep me up until six o'clock in the morning. Let's put it that way. Um, I was doing more discussions uh, where I talked about the game. Uh, I was doing more, um, you know, the challenge videos and stuff. I just started, you know, pursuing other interests, and you know, I was just having fun because at the end of the day, when it comes to YouTube, like. Uh, yes, YouTube is my job, but I also do it for fun. It's it's enjoyable, and uh, hopefully you guys see that in my content. That you know, I I genuinely do enjoy, you know, making these videos for you guys and talking to you guys. And it's why, even if it's not profitable in the slightest, I will still upload videos of me teaching you guys how to play Tin Whistle songs because, God damn it. You might, like, the, it might only get a couple thousand views, but who fucking cares, man? I want to play the tin whistle for you guys, so, and that's all that matters. But, uh, back to the question, um, you know, I just wanted to explore some new things, but, uh, I, I definitely still enjoy making WoW Machinimas. I definitely do. I mean, I just released that Warlock episode. 
the Warlock is back. Um, they're definitely a lot of fun. I've made a lot, so I'm sort of, you know, just kind of taking things easy as well. Um, just kind of like, you know, hey, I've made a, quite a few. I finished that big how-to series, and that was like a big accomplishment for me. So now I can kind of just kind of sit back a little. But um, I, by no means, by no means do I like not enjoy making WoW Machinima. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass. They're a lot of work, but it's, there's so much fun to make. Uh, I mean, I mean, they're they're tedious, but they're fun because there's such a it's like a wood carving. That's the best way to put it. You're working on something for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and then you finally finish it and you get to behold it. And the best part about a WoW Machinima is you get to put it out there, and thousands of people watch it, and they leave comments saying this was stupid and this video was not funny, and you should kill yourself, Nixium. You get to read comments like that, and that's absolutely fantastic. And it just motivates you to keep going, and I love it. Making WoW Machinima, it's its tedious, but it's a lot of fun. So, by no means do I hate making WoW Machinima now, or I have no intention of making more how-to videos or more, like, adventures with Nixium and Mukluk. Don't worry, they are coming. Just, you know, let me, let me chill out for a little bit. Let me kind of take things, you know, a little easy, because... Yeah, you know, just kind of you know, taking things a little easy. Uh, second question um, comes from uh, Aolar. Oh gosh, I, I forgot I wrote this one down. Aolar says, I know this might sound cheesy and corny. I just wanted to ask if you have any advice for a person who wants to be motivated in his life and accomplished or er, and accomplishing something major. I think that if you want to accomplish something major, whether it's uh, turning a YouTube channel into a livable income or um, finishing a book. Uh, I'm writing a book right now. Or getting straight A's in school or something. You need to ask yourself, why do you want to accomplish that goal? I think for me right now, the biggest goal that I'm pursuing is I'm doing weight loss. I mean, I've lost over 80 pounds already, as some of you guys know. Uh, I've lost over 80 pounds, and you know, when I first started losing weight... Um, I had to ask myself, why do I want to lose weight? Why? I mean, the way I saw it, it like, th this is going to sound really fucking corny, but I'm going to just speak from personal experience here. It's going to sound really fucking corny, forgive me. When I was up near 300 pounds, um, I, 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 like, I felt like I was the king of the world, you know? I had this absolutely beautiful girlfriend, and I had my audience on YouTube, and... You know, I was, you know, able to pay my bills, no problem, everything was great. Uh, I had my books, I had my cigars, I had everything that I wanted. I mean, there was nothing really that I wanted. And I felt like I was the king of the world. Like, why, why did I have a... Why would I have a reason to be ashamed of myself? Why? There was no reason for me to be ashamed of who I was. But one thing that I reminded myself of when it came to my image my body image, and this is the, cor the corny part, is that I understand that a lot of young people watch me. I understand that. And um, a lot of young dudes and a, a lot of young ladies, and I felt like it was my responsibility as a content creator to take better care of myself. It was my responsibility to lose weight to be a better example to those young people and so it was that that was my motivation that's what got me on a bicycle for the very first time and uh let me tell you losing weight is a, it's it's hard uh it's it's very hard but it's very very rewarding and it's it's a big accomplishment so going back to the original point you need to ask yourself why do you want to accomplish this thing what what's your what's your goal uh like what's the point because if you're like like in my opinion i go to the gym like almost every day if it was like, hey, why do you want to go to the gym? Oh, I just want to impress women. It's like, well, I don't think you're going to stay motivated if that's your if that's your intention. Uh, or if it's like, hey, why do you want to finish this book or make this YouTube channel? Oh, I just want to make a shit ton of money. Well, when the money's not flowing in and you're not making a shit ton of money, you're just going to get demotivated and you're not going to want to bother anymore. You know, you need to have like... You need to have your roots strong before you pursue a great goal or a great objective or pursue an accomplishment. You know, you need to have something that is, uh, dare I say, almost spiritually enriching as your root 
like, hey, I want to be a good example or, you know, hey, I want to express uh, my creativity or my whatever, like to the greater world, uh, whatever. You need to just make sure your roots are strong before you pursue accomplishments. Remember that rootless trees fall. Um, other, I mean, I could give you a lot of advice uh, speaking from my own personal successes and my own failures in my life. Uh, but I would say that's the most important thing that I could tell you in a very brief answer. You know, just really, you know, wh like, why do you want to accomplish this thing? Figure out what it is. Make sure the reason is good. And it's something that's going to keep you motivated for months, years, maybe your entire lifetime. Uh, make sure it's a very, you know, it's, it's a very strong route uh, that keeps you held in place with that goal that you're moving towards. Um, anything else I could say that just I could say in two sentences? Um, surround yourself with the right people. You are who you hang out with. If you hang out with a bunch of degenerates, you're going to be a degenerate. You will be. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, if you want to be successful, if you want to write that book, dude, hang out with other authors. I'm telling you, I, I wrote the most in my book when I used to hang out with Wow Crendor all the time. Me and him would hang out. We'd talk about writing because he loves to write just as much as me. And we would write. And I got so much done with my book planning and whatnot. And we eventually, our book club sort of ended because we both got busy. But uh, I did a lot of work during that time, and I've, I've kept it up, but man, you are who you hang out with. Hang out with people who are better than you, preferably. You always want to hang out with people who are better than you. Nowadays, I hang out with my friend Zach. Uh, my friend Zach, dude, he's been boxing for 12 years. You know, I very much enjoy martial arts. I enjoy boxing and stuff. I think it's really fun. Zach has punched me in the face and nearly broken my nose, and that was awesome. I love him for it. And I want him to teach me more boxing and, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it motivates me like, you know, to get stronger when I hang out with Zach. It motivates me to go to the gym when I hang out with Zach. So Zach might actually listen to this. So if, if you're listening, Zach, you know, uh, yeah, you know, you want to hang out with people that are better than you. They're stronger, or they're wiser, or they're just mo more motivated and it will it'll keep you going because those people will push you and you'll want to reach their level. And at the same time, you know, maybe they want to reach your level. So, you know, whatever that might be. Anyway, so I'm going to move on to uh, the next question because there's so much I could say. Uh, but you, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just dig deep. Practice your self-discipline. You'll, you'll be all right. Number three comes from Jake Hermes. Uh, Jake Hermes says, Nixium, what other content do you enjoy on YouTube that is not World of Warcraft? All right. I very, very, very much enjoy... Uh, there's a few YouTube channels that I very much enjoy. I enjoy a lot of fitness YouTubers. Uh, you might see me, if you, if you browse around on YouTube, you might see me leaving comments on fitness YouTube videos, uh, getting ideas for things that I can do in the gym or just cool and creative ways to lose weight. Um, I, I like to watch videos about hiking, the Appalachian Trail, for example. I like to watch videos about camping alone in the wilderness. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers is actually Scotty Kramer. Uh, Scotty Kramer is a professional BMX rider who, uh, a little over a year ago, or it was a little while ago, yeah, it was, it was like a year and some change ago, he got into a very bad accident and he broke his neck in several places. And, uh, they, they said he would never walk again, but, you know, through sheer damn determination, the motherfucker picked himself up, literally, and now walks around and is back on his bike. I mean, I don't think he'll ever be able to ride, you know, in the X Games. But the dude's a big inspiration to me because he just doesn't quit. He doesn't quit. And I've been watching his channel pretty much every day for a long time now. But even before he had the accident. Uh, because back in the day, I used to do BMX. So fun fact about me, I used to do BMX back in the day. So I watch him, and I've always been a fan, and I've been watching his journey, and uh, I'm a big fan of the character, well, not the character, but the person, Big Boy, because uh, he used to be a really big guy. He was like up near 300 pounds uh, when the channel first started, and now the dude is ripped. You know, he really, you know, he dug deep when it came to the weight loss, and uh, he's lost a lot of weight, pretty much just as much as I have, and uh, I'm not as toned as he is, though, but, um, but yeah, dude, so I, I enjoy that channel. I also watch, um, what else do I watch that's not, uh, I, I watch a lot of music videos. I mean, 
well, not music videos, but I, I listen to a lot of music on YouTube. I like my John Denver. Um, I like my dark ambient music. So I just listen to a lot of music here and there. And uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I just like watching hunting videos and survival videos and outdoorsy stuff, fitness stuff. And, you know, that's just me. That's just me. The next question comes from Shion Lindley. And Shion asks, how old are you, Nixium? Now, this is an easy question. I am 25. 25 years old. Oh, yeah. Someone said that I was 21 or 22. You you replied to that comment. And you were like, uh, Nixium, yeah, he's 21. No. <laughs> I wish I was 21 again. No, I'm 25. All right, next question. Lucius Ferrer says, what is your top three, five, or ten game genres and why? I'll give you the top three. My number one game genre is RPGs. I, I love RPGs, and I kind of am going to put MMORPGs in that category too. RPGs slash MMORPGs. I like being immersed in other worlds. Uh, I just I just love it. Um, I think it's so much fun. Um, my number two, I'm probably going to have to go with FPS games. Everybody loves a good FPS. I mean, come on, man. FPS games are great. I've been playing a lot of PUBG recently. And, uh, yeah. And my third game genre, my number three. Um, I'll probably do, uh, do I want to do strategy? Do I want to do strategy? Or do I want to, or do I want to do theme park games? <laughs> nah, I'm probably going to go with strategy. Strategy games are a lot of fun. Although I will say that I, there's not really too many modern strategies that I'm big a big fan of. It seems like nowadays strategy games either go on like one or the other. It's either a game like Warcraft 3 or Starcraft 2 where you have like a handful of units and all of them have cool and unique abilities or a game like Total War where you have like tens of thousands of units and you fight and you destroy everything and blah blah blah. I'm a big fan of games like Age of Empires 2 and Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds where you had like maybe 250 units so you'd have a lot of workers and you'd have a lot of you know soldiers and stuff and uh, i was a big fan of those kinds of strategy games and let me just say dude, the new age of empires hd remake oh, it's glorious so yeah i think i'll go with strategy rpgs fps's and then strategies yeah because I, I like i like blowing up people's bases it's nice the next question comes from merciless rabbits Merciless Rabbits asks, how did you meet Danger Dolan, and how did you end up making videos with Planet Dolan? Now, I've answered this question before in the past, but I'm going to answer it again because it has been a while, and new subscribers. Um, I met Danger Dolan uh, because back in the day when me and Mookluck were first getting started, Danger Dolan made a video, and he talked about the WoW YouTubers that he watched, and he mentioned me and Mookluck in this video, and we had never met the guy. And we got a big, like, because Danger Dolan was a big YouTuber, a big WoW YouTuber, we got a lot of traffic towards our channels. I mean, not like a shit ton, but definitely a good bit, you know, a couple thousand subs, and that was, that was incredible. And so we immediately reached out to Danger Dolan and thanked him, and... You know, we said, hey, dude, that was awesome. Thank you for the shout outs. And he was like, yeah, dude, no problem. And uh, eventually I got him to cameo in a few of my machinimas. And that was awesome. And uh, down the road, uh, Danger Dolan, he was looking for somebody who could do a very deep and dark and kind of scary voice for some scary countdown videos for Planet Dolan. And he said that he was interviewing a lot of people, but they just weren't really cutting it. Um, I think, I think he said, it's been a while, but I think he said, like, they had the voice, but they couldn't act very well. They couldn't create a character. And the Nixium character was established, and I had a kind of deep and scary, creepy, funny voice. And Danger Dolan felt that would be really good. So, uh, he asked me if I wanted to be on Planet Dolan, and I was like, yeah, sure. And we negotiated a contract, and, um... You know, here I am. I'm still on Planet Dolan and uh, always turning in my scripts late. And I, I always feel bad. But, you know, you know, but <laughs> that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Like I said, I've answered that before. So, but uh, new people might not have heard that. So next question. 
Number seven comes from Gunnar Sather. Gunnar says, um, I have not seen much of your instrument playing other than your tin whistle, but have you ever tried playing a Jew harp? Or AKA the jaw harp. I have not tried playing a jaw harp, but let me just say, I would love to play one. I chose this question specifically because I really want to play a jaw harp. I just haven't gotten around to buying one and learning how to play it. These instruments do not cost anything. They cost nothing. It's just a matter of like, eh, I just, you know, I've been lazy. I haven't bought one. Um, but along with the jaw harp, I really also, I really want to learn how to play the ukulele. Yeah, I just said that. I want to learn how to play the ukulele. It's a little tiny guitar, you know, strum it, play it. Uh, I want to learn how to play the ocarina at some point in the future, and I do have an ocarina. Shout out to Sprinting Fish, who sent it to me in my P.O. box. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I want to learn how to play the guitar. I have my Woodrow guitar, but I want to learn how to play a, a regular guitar. And uh, I'd like to go back to learning how to play the harmonica, because I used to meddle a little with the harmonica back in the day, but not so much recently, so... I like to go back and learn the harmonica, but the jaw harp is definitely something I want to learn how to play. It's not something I've played yet, but I think it sounds fantastic when it's played by someone that knows what the fuck they're doing. So, yeah. Question number eight comes from Tom Linko. Tom Linko says, Do you enjoy playing WoW in your free time? It is your job to make videos of WoW, amongst other games, so I feel it would get boring after a while. Yeah, uh, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head. Um, do I enjoy playing WoW in my free time? Not so much as I used to. It is very, very rare that I play WoW not on stream. If I'm playing World of Warcraft, I'm streaming it over on Twitch TV and hanging out with you guys. And if I'm not playing World of Warcraft, or if, I, if I'm not streaming, I'm not playing WoW. So... Uh, you know, I, I, I stream uh, Monday through Fridays at 4 EST for about two hours, two to three hours, and that's really all the WoW that I play. But nowadays, mostly because of the fact that I've been losing a lot of weight, and, uh, you know, there's just a lot of things that interest me uh, outside of WoW nowadays, like wood carving and playing music. I, I try to... Well, well, let me back up. Because my job is to sit and edit videos, it's not that I dislike WoW, it's that I dislike the screen, alright? It's not just WoW, it's like you get to a point where you're just like, oh, computer screens, like, you don't want to sit in front of a computer screen after a while. Um, you just want to go and go outside and just, you know, I, like, I sit at this computer and I work at this computer um, and that's it. After I'm done working, I go and I go read, or I go to the gym, or I go outside and go for a walk. I, I only come in here to work and sometimes to just hang out and talk to Moo Cluck or whatever. Um, so it's not just WoW, it's just kind of like computers in general. You know, you try to, try to avoid them like the plague when it's your job to sit at a computer for like eight hours a day. So, um, but, but yeah, you know, definitely my, uh, interest in WoW has sort of waned, uh, because of the fact it's sort of become my job, but I will say that I am very excited for Classic to come out. I'm going to play the living fuck out of Classic WoW when it comes out. Holy shit. Um, but, uh, it's a good question. It's definitely a good question. It's still a great game. I very much enjoy WoW, um, but I just don't play it as much as I used to, and, uh, yeah. Question number nine comes from Sam Cole. Sam Cole wants to know, what would you say to a member of the WoW dev team at Blizzard? Would you give them praise? Would you ask them to change stuff? Demand Nixium is made a character in game? What would you say? I would say a few things to them. The first thing, I would say good fucking job with Legion. Warlords of Draenor was fucking terrible. Listen to me. Like, if you started in Warlords of Draenor, like some of you guys have, you don't understand. Warlords of Draenor was so fucking bad of an expansion. Good God. We thought Cataclysm was bad back in the day? No. We, did. oh, ye of little mind. Like, we, we were not prepared. Warlords was bad. 
But the thing is, Legion was a complete 180. Is Legion perfect? No. There, there are complaints. I've made videos complaining about certain things in Legion, like the legendary system and the AP grinding and blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, Legion was a great expansion. It was great. It was solid, great storytelling. I liked the raids. I liked, well, the PvP was all right. But for the most part, Legion was great. Um, so I'd give them praise. I would say, you know, way to go, like with your 180 uh, since Warlords of Draenor from an expansion that sucked the dick to a really, really good expansion. Good job. Uh, the next thing I would tell them, Tuskar, playable race. You guys think I'm joking about that Tuskar playable race. You're like, oh, Nixium's just fucking around. He doesn't actually want to play a Tuskar. No, you don't understand. Tuskar are so fucking cool. Like, they're walrus people. They're so jolly. They, they say Cheshkalashka, and they tell you to stay warm and cozy. They're like the coziest race in Azeroth and in Warcraft lore. How could you not want to play a fucking whale hunting Tuskar? Like, come on, man. And I would also say, give me the Necromancer class. Like, Jesus, please. I just want the Necromancer class. I don't want a character in game, and Blizzard will never give me a character in game, because if they do, great. But they never will, because let me just put it this way. Uh... I'm a very not I, I'm a very not safe for work individual, especially over on my Twitch stream, because I talk a lot about like BDSM and shit. And I think they'll I, I don't think Blizzard would put a character of me in the game and be like, "Hey, that's Nixium," and, and then a little kid will be like, "Oh, look at this character! Like, I'm gonna go check out this guy on Twitch and watch him." And then they get there, and I'm like. Yep. So this is how you uh, this is how you tie up the lady friends, and uh, this these are the uh, type of handcuffs that I use. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think Blizzard would ever make a character of me because I'm a little too not safe for work. But whatever. But as long as they give me my Tuskar playable race and my Necromancer class, you know, pure summoning class. Oh, just give me. Like I'll, I'll be happy. So yeah, good question. Uh, and the tenth question comes from Agatha Delaire. Agatha Delaire says, I follow a couple of content creators in the WoW community and most of you seem to know each other and once in a while there'll be a collab and I am a sucker for those. I love seeing my favorites together. So I was wondering, is that something you enjoy and would you like doing more of in the future? Are there people in particular who you have not collaborated with yet but you would like to work with? People you already worked with but would love to do uh, more of it often? Just want to know. Uh, Agatha First of all, I love doing collabs with my fellow YouTubers. Collabs are so much fun. I, I I think they're great. Some people might not like them. They're like, I don't want to watch Nixium and WoW Krendor playing the forest, but I love it. Um, WoW Krendor is, uh, is uh, I, like, I, like, I can't do enough content with WoW Krendor. Like, I, I very much enjoy hanging out with WoW Krendor and hearing his opinions on things and... Um, I, I've gotten, like, you, you guys can be the judge of this, but I have gotten this comment from a few of my friends in real life, and also from viewers. People have said, like, oh, me and Wild Crendor have a good synergy with each other in terms of our, like, silly humor and, uh, our interests, because we're both interested in, like, survival and outdoorsy stuff and blah blah blah. So, um, a lot of people have said, oh yeah, we really enjoy seeing Nixium and Crendor hanging out. So I can't do enough with Wild Crendor. I very much enjoy, I, I, I love doing stuff with him. Uh, in terms of collaborations with other people that I haven't done collabs with, I've done a collab with Asmogold in the past. I, he was in How To Warrior, but I would really like to do something with him again. I, I don't know what I want to do with him. Um, cause I, I, I don't want to, I've thought about like, oh yeah, I'll just bring him in and we'll like talk about like the current whatever of World of Warcraft, the latest change or feature at some point in the future and it's like nah that's boring you know like nah i want to if i'm gonna bring asmongold in i want to do something exciting with him you know i want to i want to like play a game with him or i want to like do like a crazy ass vlog where we go and like pick up a prostitute or something like how fucking crazy would that be like yeah now that would be dope um <laughs> so 
I, I don't know, but I would like to do something with Asthma Gold. I want to do more with Noble in the future. I want to do more with Brutal Static. And I really want to do something with Danger Dolan. I've been meaning to do something with Danger Dolan for a long time now. Get him on the YouTube channel again. or like I think that would be so much fun. It's just, you know, it, it's just I get so immersed in my own projects. But we'll definitely, me and Krendor will definitely be doing a lot more in the future. Uh, we kind of trade off. It's like... He, like, I'll go and I'll do a video with him for his channel, and then he comes and does a video for me, and then I have to go and do a video for him, and we just keep going back and forth, back and forth. And that's a lot of fun, and one day I want to do maybe, like, a little duo Twitch stream with him, and that would be really cool, too. So, we'll do some streaming together as well, me and some of these content creators. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's ten questions. Guys, if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, leave it down in the comment section down below. If you see a question that you really want me to answer, give it a thumbs up, and I will look at the highest rated comments, and I'll try to answer those questions, unless there's something, like, really, like, crazy or stupid or something I'm not going to answer, like, you know, whatever. I don't know, something. But, guys, thank you for watching, as always. Hopefully, you got a little bit more insight to me, and, uh... Thank you all for the warm wishes that you gave me in the last video after I told that whole hospital story. I really appreciate it, guys. I, I always say that I have the best community that follows me on YouTube. It is true. It is very true. And, uh, yeah. Come watch me on Twitch and let, let me say hello to you guys, you know, face to screen, I guess. Because I, I like hanging out with the viewers. So, come hang out with me. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Farewell.